Hi Stampers, this is Brandy. I am back with a how-to video on alcohol markers. I want to show you various other things you can do with your alcohol markers other than just color stamped images. My preference is Copics. I love them. There are many other alcohol markers. I chose these because I like the variety of colors you get. I like that they are refillable. I like that they have replaceable nibs. If you mess one up, you get a new nib, you keep the same marker, and you just buy the refill alcohol ink. So I'm not promoting Copics. That is uh, just my choice. I have colored numerous stamped images using the Copics, but I also have used them for various other, other things. Uh, for instance, I have these rhinestone jewels. I buy the clear ones. There's no need to buy colored ones anymore. I've already attached them to glue dots. It helps very much hold them still. Gives me something to hold on to. Keeps my fingers from getting so messy. And with these, you want to use a, a darker shade. Lighter ones aren't going to show up as well. But if that's the color you're trying to match it to, go for it. So this one, I just have a RV17. And I am just going to color it. If I can hold the marker, I will just color it. Just get all the sides. There you go. Now I have a jewel to match whatever project I'm working on. This one I'll zoom in a little closer so you can, so you can really see. There we go. I'm just going to take a B18. And I like to use the pointy nib for this. There you go. Went from clear to a dark blue. Looks like it came that way. And this will take a little time to dry. Don't touch it or you will leave some little uh, fingerprints in the ink. You can set it with a heat tool if, if you prefer. Another thing I like to use it for is I do have an abundance of ribbon of every color. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more unless I need it, but I like to buy white. And you just take your marker. I'm going to use the chisel in this time. And you just color away. And I have now matched project again. You can also color the back, kind of make it a little more even, but I've, I have made a beautiful ribbon and I haven't had to go try to match the shade when I have all the shades you could possibly hope for in alcohol markers. You can also use twine, color your twine, use a darker shade. Now I have a color to match my project. And then not only can you just use plain white, I have some silver ribbon and I'm going to change its color as well. From silver to pink. In just a few strokes. This one you'd probably have to do the back too. Awesome. And you can also take your colored ribbon and if it's not the exact shade of green you want, just take a little scrap and grab some greens. And use the chisel in again. And this, this green isn't dark enough for the project I need, but now it is. And just keep in mind that ribbons and things like that are going to soak up a little more ink. So just be aware of that. It may matter to some people, it may not. I also have some plain pearls. They uh, have the little stickers on the back. And you can also color these. I'm going to use the, the pointy painter end. And these will also need a little bit of drying time. How pretty is that? You can see the, the kind of metallic-y look underneath it.
gorgeous. And one of the last things, I don't know if anyone has one of these tools, a little spritzer tool. You can also put your Copics in this spritzer tool. All you do is unscrew the little screw thing here. Pop this part out. Put your Copic in. Line it up to the spritzer. And of course, it, since the Cop this Copic isn't round, it's more oval. You just have to tighten this just enough that it grips. If you try to tighten it, this is going to turn on you. And there you go. Can you see the light? May have to adjust it a little. There we go. Gorgeous. I sometimes forget about this and I came across it when I was pulling things to make this video and I was like, oh yeah, I have used that with my Copics before. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a few extra things you can do with your Copics other than color stamped images. I also have the Copic airbrush system. I will be making a separate video on different things you can do with that. So again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.